This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 661 Tuesdays. We've been talking professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorg on the Twitter here in the shadow of Pittsburgh, in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh. Uh, we got a hell of a show in line for you guys tonight. First of all, let's go uh, out there in the uh, shadow of New York City. He's sporting the new gear out there. Uh, he's mad Mike. <laughs> It's a new shirt. Yes, it is. <laughs> Man, he was right on the mer- mer- merch stands. Holy crap. That's the new uh, Kofi. He's, he's still dancing. New shirt rocks. New shirt rocks. It's just a picture of Mad Mike's shirt all night long. Hi, hey, everyone. Hey, Mike. How you doing? How you recovered from your WrestleMania experience? Uh, mostly. 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 You, um, you even part of me thinks it's still happening. Mm-hmm. Part of what me WrestleMania is still going on? <laughs> it actually never ended. Um, it actually WrestleMania started on the day before my birthday and ended on my birthday. Yeah, it did. It did. If you're RJ City, WrestleMania is every day. It's true. You hear that? Yeah, Bobby? but my birthday is not every day. Otherwise, I'd be like over three thousand years old. That's true. And Bobby... no, partner, I cannot do a split like Big E. Bobby F. J. Town is with us from Floodtown, USA, Johnstown, PA. Um, I'm just going to talk about whether Pierre, John Pierre Lafitte was a pirate or not this whole time. <laughs> just <laughs> just going to debate that tonight. Also with us, uh, straight from the, the basement in Dark Forge Studios, is Larry. Hi. Back with us. Yes, I'm back. Welcome. Thank you. Larry, and, we missed you. And then we have... Larry! <laughs> Larry! Our special guest, Lady Frost, is with us. Hello. Hello. And uh, Victor Benjamin, the Savage Gentleman, Dapper, as usual. Both of you, 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 again, like nominees for Best Dressed of the Year on Wrestling Mayhem Show. Always proper. That's what we do. <laughs> it is. That's awesome. But this is, and we're going to be chatting with you guys about how your WrestleMania week went, uh, how everybody else's uh, experience watching all the all the craziness last week with WrestleMania week. It's not just WrestleMania. It's like it is. It, like, when did the show start? Like Wednesday, Tuesday, something like that, up in that area. Like it was Wednesday. insane. Wednesday. Yeah, I was surprised how early I was seeing the, t- the tweets about it. Uh, but anyways, please check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find the links to subscribe to us in podcast and video form or look us up on your favorite platform. You can also ask your Google Home to uh, play the show uh, on Google Play Music or ask your Amazon Echo to play Wrestling Mayhem Show on, on TuneIn. I'm not going to demonstrate it. It doesn't work when I do it live usually, so you're just going to have to try it out for yourselves. I swear, I've done the research. It works. Um, also, you can drop us a line if you'd like over to our email address. Good times! Good times at Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com or four one two two zero six WMS zero tweet us at Mayhem Show and hit us up on the Wrestling Man Show Facebook page and group on the page that's where we go live every Tuesday around nine PM Eastern time for the show and you guys can join us in the chat room just like our friends uh, out there on the West Coast, Alex Cars, Tina Keys, as well as hey Bobby's hanging in there too, Matt Carlins, and a whole bunch of other people watching live with us and streaming on other Sorgatron Media properties. But if you are checking us out over there, uh, please drop into the Wrestling Man Show Facebook page where we are monitoring that chat room so you can be part of the show and comment on everything that we're talking about here today. Thank you to our Patreon supporters as well uh, over at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, including our, our friends at the fan of the show, $1 level, Bo Diggity! Woo! Woo! Ed Berg, Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, and Nat- Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment, and our friends at the Pocky Club, $5 level, uh, 
Bradley Ruthers, or Doc Remedy, Dave Podner, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. And at the $20 level, the manager is Mad Mike and our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling. Thank you so much, everybody, that has been supporting the show through this Mayhem Mania season. And uh, and uh, Ma- Mainstream Matt is uh, resting up on post-Mayhem Mania sabbatical. Uh, he will be back uh, probably in a few weeks after he's had just a little bit of time to he'll be uh, back rest next up. Mayhem Mania. He'll be back. Yeah, he'll be back next Mayhem <laughs> Mania, all rested up to do it all over again. So. He's like Puck- Puxatani Phil. <laughs> yes, Which just shows up once a year. Next week. If 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 uh, if uh, if uh, uh, Mainstream Matt shows up in January and sees his shadow in the studio, Mayhem Mania will start in two weeks. Or two something weeks, two weeks sooner, week, right? two, two weeks, weeks sooner. sooner. Yes, two weeks sooner, something like that. Well, yeah. next week. it is, it is. Uh, this is the um, the the mayhem after Mania, and I think we're all kind of um, you know whether we were uh, there for the weekend or just watched too much wrestling just on Sunday night alone. Um, it was a, a hell of a week, like it usually is. Um, so, I, geez, where do we start with WrestleMania this year? Um, it, 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 it set the bar for length. Is it officially the longest? The longest WrestleMania? I think it is the longest oh, WrestleMania. Oh, I don't know. I, I didn't keep I've track. I've heard it was more about how wide it was. How... <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I We had to get that joke in. My, well, Mike, you... I think it is the longest one on record. Mike, I think, uh, well, you were there in person. Uh, what, how was the vibe for like people keeping with it throughout the night there? Uh, there were prayer circles. There were prayer uh, circles. <laughs> yeah, we, um, we were praying to whatever gods Alistair Black prays to that it was going to end sometime, <laughs> um, before sunrise. Yeah, uh, that was yeah. the. I'm pretty sure like at sunrise, were. uh, Batista may have turned into dust. I'm not sure how this end game thing works. We'll have to wait for Avengers. Somebody said Alistair Black play, prays to what the Iconics were dressed as. Yes, and I, I, that is my new headcanon because, honestly, we should all pray to the Iconics. Um, but it, it was the guy next to us fell asleep. Oh, no. Oh, serious. <laughs> oh, like, wow. Just, like, I, the guy next to us fell asleep for a whole match and a half. Which match? Um, he did not see uh, the angle retirement match. Uh, okay. And the Balor, the Balor Lashley match. Eh. <laughs> he didn't miss much. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, and, and that <laughs> yeah. was that was a well, short I mean, bit. He was he was only woken up by Charlotte Spyro. <laughs> he was only woken up by that. <laughs> okay, wow. all right. So so people coped in different ways. Um, I mean, I remember when I was there in that stadium. Like, I I was really happy that uh, P Diddy had a performance so I could go for a pee break. <laughs> So I have my um, uh, I, have, I actually timed I have my pee diddy I timed break. my pre I timed my pee break the best I could my pee and getting food break I went as soon as I heard the Hall of Fame music mm. as soon as I heard it I'm like this is the time to go <laughs> this, is it. this is the time because I was I was planning on doing it during Randy Orton and AJ Styles because I don't fucking care about that. But that would have taken. Tell me how you really feel. Jeez, I, I, I was being generous. Like, they didn't even do the one thing I wanted to see from that match. Uh, crazy RKO. Uh, yeah, like a springboard 450 into an RKO. How is that not the finish? <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna have Orton win anyway, have it be cool. But nope. We're just like, whoop, RKO out of somewhere. Uh, but uh, um, I actually, the girl in front of me, I watched a progression of her get drunk, pass out, and sober up before the show <laughs> ended. That is... That it was is, impressive. That is impressive. I mean, you, impressive. you kind of solve your own problem. You know, what's what's the seventh inning like beer cutoff? Like, was it like an hour before or? I don't even know. I I don't I don't drink at events. We pregame beforehand. Yeah, no, but I just you know sometimes you notice them cutting out. Um, but <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. Seth Brock was a super last minute decision from the sounds of things. What Tina said. 
Uh, I don't think so. No, you don't think so? You no, tell I don't think so it? at all. No, because Matt and I said that they should have done that last year. Mm-hmm. Clearly, they listened to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they listened Matt, to us. No, I did not remember that AJ <laughs> won that match. You, you didn't Matt, remember I did AJ? Not, I did not remember that AJ won that match. Because that's how little I cared about. It. Jeez. Uh, and, and of course you did not get, um, you did not get, uh, uh, tied up in the new Jer- Jersey, uh, transit debacle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you want to hear about the new Jersey transit? All right. Uh, WrestleMania, <laughs> WrestleMania 29 was six years ago. Yeah. I went to the raw after WrestleMania 29 for my birthday. It was when Dolph Ziggler cashed in, became the world champion and everything. All right. Yes. And I believe Fandangoing that- was, co- was coined as well. Oh, was it ever? And if if he wasn't so <laughs> funny and charming, I would hate him forever because of this experience. Mm. In fa- instead, I just hate Europe. But um, what? Wait, why, 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 why do we hate Europe? I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it because the entire line to get to the train, which was an hour and a half line, da da. Da, 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 but in <laughs> accents, oh. in undetermined accents. <laughs> it's kind of have, hard to have an accent when you're trying to sing like a song like that. Da, 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 da. No, it's not. I don't no, think that's not, an probably. accent. That's not an accent. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't a good one. It was one. Be a star, it, Mike. It was an affectation. <laughs> it was an affectation. <laughs> um, but no. So, not only. The hour and a half line for the train. The 45 minute train ride to Secaucus. <laughs> da, 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 the entire time. They're just really big Adrian And then fans. I had to transfer <laughs> to and they all Penn Station <laughs> for another 35 minute train and, ride. And this led to the determination and, to drive the WrestleMania guess, this year. Guess what I heard there? <laughs> da, 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 da. So. I, and that was for the IZOD Center mm-hmm. that housed maybe 16,000 people. Mm-hmm. There were 83,000 fuckers there last night <laughs> on Sunday night. If you thought I was taking New Jersey Transit, y'all were back in the wrong horse. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tina's t- uh, telling us that New Jersey Transit blamed WWE, saying that WWE told New Jersey uh transit that it ended two hours earlier than it did no no That's when like, in doubt it is new jersey's fault yeah <laughs> for existing yeah. yeah yeah because they couldn't handle it at raw Everything six years earlier and an hour and a half earlier mm-hmm. they couldn't handle it then so there's a reason there's a reason that new jersey's name was not uttered during the course of the entire weekend right uh in the yes. shadows of new york city which they even called out that, you know, they, they called out on one of the programs about them getting sl- a flack for using that term the whole time. Like, I think Michael Cole. Well, I mean, it's better than saying in New York. Mm-hmm. Which they basically did last it, it time. It wasn't fucking New York. Yeah, no, no. They, they, and that's what they did at 29, too. So, uh, yeah. already. Well, re- at least they said New York, New Jersey for that one. Yeah, they did, actually. Um, which didn't make any sense because they the only event they ran in New York was the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. But you can't just say, "Hey, welcome to WrestleMania in New Jersey." Like that doesn't sound as as grand uh, uh, in general. Just you know, it's like saying WrestleMania in Wyoming. <laughs> oh, is that where it's gonna be three years from now? What's that? That's three years uh, from now. Wyoming. Three we got, years from now. They'll have, uh, um, uh, you know, I guess thirty-seven is gonna be in L.A. From the sounds of things, look at the Tumbleweed that. Center. The Tumbleweed you, Center. You can say. WrestleMania from the stadium, though, because Sorg, let me ask you a question. Do you know what city the Pontiac Silverdome was in? Oh, uh, not Detroit. Exactly. That's my point. Although we don't call like don't we just say at the Pontiac Silverdome. Like they don't say in Detroit. Like typically when they call Brother. back to that. No, they I say feel. Pontiac Silverdome all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, that's what I'm Superdome. saying. You can just say WrestleMania from venue. Mm. Uh, Ty Cross, are we finally getting an Idaho mania? Who the fuck is that sword? I don't know. We'll find out someday. 
God, maybe you're the host, right? and a giant Just... potato. <laughs> Uh, anyways, other than uh, the sleep patterns of WrestleMania attendees, uh, we need a WrestleMania duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> duck a mania. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the battle royal. So uh, I, 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 my take, I, I really enjoyed WrestleMania this year, like as a whole. Oh yeah. Um, Great. You know, timing aside, it helped for me being on the West Coast, and it ended at 9:30. Personally, uh, so that was that was nice. Um, but, but it seemed like, uh, the, the show was better balanced than it feel like, it feels mm. like it has been in the past. I mean, did you guys kind of experience that in your watching at all? Like there were a few, like I had friends over and there were a few times that it kind of, like we just started talking, but other, pretty, for the most part, everybody was like into it like the whole time. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, it, it felt like it kind of just dropped off after Kofi mania though. Well, it kind of helped that they broke up all the championship matches like in yeah. our segments too. You yeah. know what I mean? That kind of, that kind of helped with the monotony. Okay. I think they should have so. had Finn Balor on earlier. Yes. The crowd, I, well, the no, you know, if, if he, if, if he had a better opponent, I think it would have mattered more. I don't you think it mattered. I, mean? I like, think people th- just that, want to see that match wasn't going to be as exciting as it was like last year. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it, when they did like, well, that was the ladder match here, right? The, the yeah. IC title. The, uh, the, the, uh, two I, years ago, yeah, at least two okay. years ago, yeah. But I mean, like, if he if he had if he had an opponent that he could work with, like Rollins or mm. somebody else, I I think it would have mattered more that it was. The, sooner. Yeah, the, oh, I'm not talking plus, about the match. I'm talking about the entrance. Oh. The entrance, that, well, the entrance should have been in uh, nighttime, though. It's true. They, yeah, yeah, it did need to be. Um, but you know, again, it was a the point was for him to have the entrance. Yeah, it was. It was already year. nighttime, like five matches earlier than that. Mm-hmm. This was a late WrestleMania. You yeah. don't need to have the match at almost midnight for it to be nighttime. It's not like the Bray Wyatt versus the Undertaker from a couple years yeah, ago. Yeah, when they did that in San Francisco, <laughs> and it was like it's not dark until like the final match. It was just so awkward. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what? One of my favorite Taker entrances was still WrestleMania Nine, where he came out on the chariot with a vulture. That was awesome. You didn't need yeah. it to be dark. Then. Was a was it a vulture puppet? No, we'll get to that. No, we'll get to the vulture puppet. <laughs> Probably when Bobby F. J. Town not telling us about yeah, stolen, getting, stolen my gimmick. His puppets getting signed to WWE without him. Uh, but, and, and doing meth. And doing doing meth, his meth puppets. <laughs> doing recreational drugs. How is, oh, that, I mean, how is that's that? That's how you celebrate well, a new contract, guys. <laughs> so, um, anyways, uh, so uh, WrestleMania, uh, best match of the night? Oh, it's a toss up. I'd say Kofi, Dan, so, Brian. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that as well. Yeah, it felt like everything was manufactured to be a moment. So, and we have to mention somebody made their WrestleMania debut. You got you got a WrestleMania moment. <laughs> Victor Benjamin made the program, <laughs> made the maybe. promo. Maybe, maybe I had my first Mania moment. Maybe <laughs> it was. I was cool. there, but I wasn't there. Yeah, <laughs> that's you, time, time travel. travel. You were very <laughs> existential with your WrestleMania experience. <laughs> <laughs> Out of body experience. Were you guys still in the city for it? No. No, no you got, no, you no. had you were heading back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I mean, so I, you know, what what did you find out? You were in like that program and everything. Whenever my phone started buzzing, blow, 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 blow. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Look at this! You're in the program." Was, yeah, yeah, that's me. That's pretty freaking cool. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. A part of WWE history. Well, they, I'm sure you'll be in like that end of the end of the year photo book when they're uh, covering, uh, uh, you know, all the raws and everything too. So, see, I'm open. <laughs> <laughs> you need someone? I'll fill the back page. And we talked about last week with Chris Larusso too, who was a part of that that uh, security team. Like um, some of the expressions that were going on <laughs> and like oh, yeah. like uh, you were right up front and had probably the most serious i'm ready to like bring it triple h <laughs> try me <laughs> kind of looks going out there i was That's doing the a job, job. <laughs> <laughs> that, that have you ever seen job. anyone go to triple h and be like i'm gonna fight you <laughs> <laughs> no maybe mrs dad <laughs> yeah. okay fair By enough the way, i predicted he would get in the ring Oh, Mrs. Mayhem, Dad? Mayhem Mania prediction coming true. Yeah. That is true. We did predict, for those that maybe didn't catch, we did predict a 
a uh, Mr. Miz uh, uh, versus Vince McMahon match <laughs> a few weeks ago. Oh my! And I feel like we're even closer to it right now. That's, that's next year. Like I, I like, there's going to be a just a, an attempted fisticuffs at ringside between the two of them at the very least. That, right? that deserves a year long build. <laughs> that's the thing where you come out, you come out on the Raw after Mania and say WrestleMania 36. I'm fighting Mrs. Dad. Father versus <laughs> father. Yes, I mean it's it's brought up so much in the storyline. Why not? And it just uh, God bless his dad. Like Mrs. Dad is like all of our dads. Um, he, he he's part Muppet though. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no, so no. Bray Wyatt is a lining of Mrs. Dad. What's that? Are you saying Bray Wyatt's a lining of Mrs. Dad? Yeah, maybe. Bray okay. Wyatt? I mean, I also have Muppet-like tendencies, but you know, <laughs> that's true. Some of your expressions are quite Muppet-like. Yeah. So, uh, but it was a great WrestleMania. We'll talk a little bit about WrestleMania week, WrestleMania moments as well. I uh, won't be talking with our guests here about how their Mania week went as well. You guys were getting around and making some impressions as well i know you see, saw you popping up on my twitter as i was gallivanting across the country myself but also i give a shout to hey a lot of people this weekend this was a good weekend for people from pittsburgh and cleveland in the wrestling world just all across the board mm-hmm. johnny gargano to elias um basically fighting anybody that uh, basically made the 2000s uh, this week's it seems, um, you know, uh, current angle even having his moment the last couple of nights, uh, and a lot of them got started here. You can check out a lot of them over at indywrestling.us and indywrestling.network. Uh, start your subscription five nine nine a month, seven day free trial at indywrestling.network, and the VODs over at indywrestling.us, including prime cuts featuring Johnny Gargano, and uh, also prime cuts uh, including Johnny's friend. Uh, formerly known as Gregory Iron. I don't know if you saw the tweet where Gregory Iron said, uh, finally signed to NXT as Johnny's friend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm sad we did not get him before his call up uh, one last time here on the show. Uh, so, but uh, go check out all that. A lot of, uh, a lot of people, uh, Mustafa Ali's, uh, 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 Ali's. Ali. Ollie. Ollie. Or, Ollie. I'm sorry, Ollie. There was a Wait, did they cut his name? Yeah, yes. they cut his name a couple yeah. weeks ago. No, shit they me. cut his name a couple weeks ago, but I swear I saw like SmackDown or something last week where it still they... says Mustafa Ali like on nope. the ringside graphic. Like nope, they called they him not. Ali tonight. They're calling him Ali, but I'm saying like they yeah. changed, they didn't change all the graphics. When they did it, like the the the, the board, and somebody got fired, and then somebody <laughs> got fired. <laughs> Poor soul. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh man, gotta gotta keep that comment across the board. Go check him out when he used to have two names. A lot of people that used to have two names. Well, actually, Anthony Nice still has two names, I guess. Well, he's still on two hundred five. Nope, he's just Nice now. Is he just Nice? No, he's Nice. It's it's, <laughs> it's, it's knee, Tony Nice. It's Nee Nee. They actually took the second half of his first name. And the first half of his second name, so it's Nee Nee N Y N E. What is the formula? I need like the I need like the the formula book of how we shorten names in WWE. Is that in the rule book? Maybe. Uh, anyways, uh, but <laughs> a lot of people with different names over there at IndieWrestling.us. Go check it out uh, and support Indie Wrestling, and including our guest tonight, Victor Benjamin, Lady Frost, with us hanging out. Thank you so much. Uh, so you guys again. Creepy smile. Creepy smile time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really should have set up a two shot for this because I, I know <laughs> I, I can't keep up with it. So you guys, of course, you were at Mania Week. Is this your first Mania Week you guys have experienced? Yes, in it was. general, right? It was. You were in on, general, yes. On a couple of things. So uh, I, I kind of wanted to get your aspect of this. We haven't had anybody up on like right after a Mania, Mania Week experience like that. Why not? Yeah, I don't know why not. Actually, well, it's your fault. It's my. <laughs> Well, there you now go. You do. Shame on you, Sorg. So this is Pop a first out out. The cherry. <laughs> My booking, my booking al- failings aside, uh, how how was it? I know you, I know a couple things you guys were involved with, but um, mm-hmm. um, what what did you guys do for Mania Week? We drove a lot. Oh, yes. <laughs> was a lot of driving. <laughs> oh, so it's like any other weekend, just extended. Yeah. Right. You didn't. You didn't take a the lot more traffic. Subway? Traffic, no booze, subway. people, intense um, occurrences. 
Oh yeah, intense occurrences. Intense occurrences. That's Wait. just <laughs> it's very I mean, accurate depiction. Well, that's just a trip to New York City. <laughs> that's Listen, we are name. not fans of New York City. We, we do not like. Hey. New York. Yeah. If I never go back there, I am okay unless I'm getting uh, paid very well. I'm someone is picking me up. Someone is. I don't know. I'm going. I don't think week. you did New York City correctly. Yeah, you. It, 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 we we had a tour guide in Mad Mike the first time we went, at least. So. That that may make the difference. Well, where was Mad Mike this time? Yeah, he was in I, the stands I, next I to the people sleeping. <laughs> I was in MetLife Center yeah, in the in... shadow of New York City. Is it actually called MetLife Center? Did Hogan mess that up? He messed that up. Yeah, yeah. Hogan, Hogan okay. messed it. Okay, are we just now calling He's it MetLife? He's allowed. He's allowed. Just let him. Let him be. <laughs> He's old. No, the it's last fine. Time we let Hogan do things. He did terrible things. That's true. In a Met Life Center, brother. Because you haven't done terrible things either. Oh, oh. yes. Oh, yes, he does, and most of them are documented on this show. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest about Hogan. it. <laughs> so, and and my bad things are not documented on Bubba the Love Sponge. That's true. Anyways, bringing it back around. All right. Uh, what did you, What did you guys get into uh, Mania Week here? We started off with. A very intimate show with, with Uncle a, Mick, with a, with a personal Mick. friend of ours. <laughs> he is Uncle now Mick. Uncle, Uncle Mick. Mick. <laughs> <laughs> so we did not plan on going up on Wednesday. Um, mm. We got a a message from Mick Foley who asked us to attend his show, and we certainly could not say no. And this is his <laughs> his one man show, like yes. he's been doing. Yes. Yep, it's a little bit his of stand up. Stand up. Yep, mm. Q and A. Uh, it was interesting, but he wanted to close the show a certain way. He and... needed a closer. <laughs> he needed a cool story. <laughs> so I provided that cool story. But, um, yeah, it was nice. So we were there, and then we went out to eat afterwards, and he stole all of Victor's wings because he was hungry. And... He pilfered <laughs> my wings. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Loaded. He, he, he did pilfered. quote that on Twitter. Pilfered. My wings. Did he just put them in the fanny pack? <laughs> No, no but he that would have been epic. So though. much stuff in the fanny pack. Yeah. <laughs> there, I nothing else could fit in the fanny pack. <laughs> oh, this is great. We love you, Uncle Mick. If you ever he has a this. secret wing <laughs> compartment. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I, I said, like, like Mick is like, he's the guy that he shows up at the show. He's the only legend that shows up at the show. Where you're just like, oh, he's our wrestling dad. I mean, I I don't know if it's just because he shows up in sweatpants usually, but like, it's it's like you know, you're so comfortable around yes. him. Like, I can't think. And I think this is across the board. Like even like you, you see fan interactions. He, he just is so disarming to mm-hmm. talk to. You know, he's amazing. Just... He was literally naming multiple fans at his show. Wow! Yes. By name, name. Wow. by name, with Seeing stories them in the audience, and he could recollect where he first met them or their interaction, awesome. like just stories. It was it was incredible. Jeez. And he he mentioned one guy said, "You've been coming to see me for twenty years now." It was just, it's fantastic. And he is the most kind-hearted person right off the bat that you've ever met. He just has those kind eyes and he acts as, the same way that he looks. He's living proof that CTE is all a work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's good to know the ticker, st- the, 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 the ticker upstairs uh, still working after <laughs> all that. Because you worry about it. You, you you worry about it. It's like, oh, does he have a memory loss? Or else, but if he's 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 doing that. Oh no, he's all there. Uh, he's all there. I he's mean, good. I know he does. I know he does <laughs> write announcements on his hand for when he does ring announcements. Yes, he does. I mean, absolutely. I mean, I who would, doesn't do that? I mean, he still ha- he had them on Did there for you, a show. Do you have proof of that? What do of I course. have? Do you have proof? I think I do actually. You do have proof. <laughs> I think Where I do is have that proof. picture? There's a there's a picture. There's I, I got the, 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 the footage. video. I think he referenced it while he was announcing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of his thing. He did there's it at his a show. The entire run of TNA. The entire run of TNA. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't he make fun of the Rock for it one time? Um, because the no, Rock. that was Cena. Cena made fun Cena of the Rock for it. Cena made fun of the Rock. Right. Well, he probably came to his defense for that, to be honest. So. Uh, the Mick Foley show, of course, that's that's also awesome. it's always a fun show. I've seen it here in town at least once, maybe twice. Twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen was it? Wow. The, well, look at you. You have that written on your hand. Yeah. No, that was when uh, Dutters and I started dating, and you guys went without me. Oh. Oh, oh Larry. 
Not bitter at not all. Bitter. Not at all. Not no. one. That's moment. when. Well, 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 you do know that's the that's the night that like he stopped the show because to to, to point out her smile. What's Aww. that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That, that. that was yeah. the show. Immediately, wow. we were like 10 minutes <laughs> so in. Mick, Mick Foley embarrassed her. Yeah, embarrassed her. <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting relatively up, not like up front, up front, but pretty yeah. close. Pretty obviously. Uh, improv. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, we're laughing and he like stops in between a joke and just lets you have the best smile. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. And so we're just like, oh, mm-hmm. just talking to us. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, it, it's always a fun time. Uh, other than that, you did get involved with some wrestling uh, uh, as well. We did. We attended a few shows. Uh, we went to help out, be a part of things. And uh, we were wrestling on one show that started at midnight that actually mm. started around 1240. The bewitching hour. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Appropriate. <laughs> um, 1240 is the bewitching I hour. actually did not wrestle <laughs> whatsoever. Victor handled the business for us that evening. I wrestled. <laughs> if I you was, can call it wrestling. Yes. If you can call it horror, <laughs> when, you, when you have three minutes for a 30-person battle royal. Jeez. Wow. What? There and was then, not much how, wrestling. <laughs> and Just Incredible comes in swinging a cane. I don't think there's enough oh square God. footage in the ring to get everybody out at the same time in that amount of time. <laughs> Like, yeah. if everybody yeah, jumped over the rope at once, battle, there's not enough room. You're in, you're out. <laughs> it's the reason for the cane. Your battle royals take longer. Oh. Wow. wow. Um, yeah. It, it, and I've heard some things about, about this show. About it. There were some uh, issues with timing and everything uh, in the venue and such and uh, uh, going on. But, uh, uh, but when you have that many wrestling shows, and I think this was part of, like, a bunch of shows happening in this venue, right? Yes, it's yes. called The Collective. The Collective. Game Changer was putting on the entire weekend at White Eagle Hall. Mm-hmm. There were at least a dozen different shows Yeah. throughout the weekend. Like, was this one of those venues that was also doing breakfast shows as well? Yes. 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 Brunch. Brunch shows. Brunch. Pancakes and pile drivers. <laughs> Pancakes and pile drivers, <laughs> that yes. That was one of them. <laughs> I love this. I, I love that this has become such a wide thing like this. That isn't, you can... that, isn't that stealing New Day's gimmick at this point? <laughs> mm. I mean, it's Not a breakfast quite. food. It's it's a breakfast. I think that well, and they were doing it like last year. If you you can't you can't say um oh what was the old Mania one? It was like the uh, the brunt brunch and muscles. Body, body slam brunch or something. Body like slam that? brunch no. or something. I love oh, brunch. Oh, yeah, bother me. <laughs> and, and Who does food, food. Why, you're making us hungry. Food. <laughs> yeah. Uh, awesome. So, I mean, so you got to see a lot of it. Like, you got to see that kind of vibe uh, of, of, you know, all these indie wrestling shows and all this talent kind of come together. Like, what was it like on that, that angle of it, uh, seeing all that? It's crazy. It's intense. A mm-hmm. lot of intense occurrences. <laughs> 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 but I feel as if... You know, the pressure is is so great Mm -hmm. and the stunts are so high and the performance level is just top notch. I mean, you really have the best of the best in the independent scene. And, you know, not every style of wrestling is going to suit every fan. And, you know, you see multiple Mm -hmm. gifs or gifs. Let's not start that argument. That's Um, for our other show. (laughs) There's no argument. (laughs) Those little moments. about that last time. (laughs) But there was literally a flavor of ice cream for everyone right. at the collective. Did the fans seem it's, different from normal like indie shows? Uh, yes and Just no. Just because of the weekend? I think they have um, the territory. There are a lot of familiar faces. So a lot AIW, of fans, yeah. They traveled, and right. we've seen them at a lot of local shows that we've been at. Mm-hmm. So you uh, go from crazy extreme like hardcore match kind of shows, and then you see something like Chikara, Mm. And they don't even swear. Mm -hmm. So they'll say, you sick freak. Or they'll say bum instead Mm. of, you know, another bad word. And it's fantastic because (laughs) (laughs) he just went for it. I I, I was more of a lady. I I, I remember my favorite Chikara chant I've ever heard like that is you're going to get your flipping head kicked in. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, There there was an instance where they had uh, Billy Gunn as a surprise at King of Trios. and, And he... You know, what, he was going to do the suck it like thing, and everybody just started chanting "family show" at him. 
<laughs> like awesome. you know and, and like i think xbox has done like you know had done chikara before so mm-hmm. he's just like he's like i told you you gotta you gotta keep it down low here <laughs> you know so, yeah, so they're mr bacteria to... for that show What's they're that? committed to being PG. Oh, and yeah. it's, it's fantastic, though. It's it's a different art. It's a different vibe. And that's okay, too. And I mean, you don't is... need blood to get over. Right. No, no. Or insane insane stunts or anything like that. Uh, but it, it, it... Nudity, booze, <laughs> cigarettes, uh, all of it. The, but they're... there was plenty of that there in case that's what you're into. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> plenty of, plenty of that. Uh, that's fantastic. All of the blood. What was your favorite thing you saw that you that you weren't involved in? Hmm. What was our favorite moment? How about Invisible Man match? Oh my! Oh. I, I heard that. Long. That was insane. It was, it was Janella, right? Janella Spring Break. Did, did anybody else get involved in that other than Janella? The ref. The ref did. So and I it feel was... awful. I, we know him, and I can't think of his name. Bryce Actually, Bryce. Yes. Bryce. yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, Bryce is a Chikara guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's mm-hmm. an everyone guy, but. Um, <laughs> mainly Chikara. Oh, yeah. He was absolutely phenomenal. By the way, great picture of him riding the New York subway in his referee gear, and he said nobody said anything to him. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, as, a, as a rider of the New York City subway, <laughs> that's literally the, I did the math on this, the 63,586th weirdest thing I've seen on the subway. <laughs> that seems right. Okay. All right. Okay. Did the math on it. Too much time on your hands. <laughs> Moving on. Yes, because Clearly. he rides the subway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, what else are you going to do? You don't have any service down I, there usually. <laughs> I keep a subway journal. Yeah. There you go. I also keep how a subway journal. I don't know how many things it was, Bobby. I also keep a subway journal, but it's based on the sandwiches that I've eaten. Because <laughs> that's the one they have in Johnstown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jared. <laughs> oh, no, oh no! 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 Oh, no, no now no, that's no. savage. <laughs> <laughs> that is cold so blooded. Like up that appears on the screen. It says savage. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We need that graphic going. <laughs> we'll so drop an elbow because that was savage. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> mad. Uh, well, anyways, uh, so I had no day to Jersey Mike's the other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> oh, which wasn't in New York. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. Uh, well, we're going to be talking a little bit more about Mayhem Week with you guys and, you know, any input you guys have in that, uh, from a personal experience as well here and with the big question too. Uh, so we'll get into that here. Uh, after the break. The big question. Are you popping a question? No, no, it's not that I was big already question. asked Whoa, the big it's not question. Whoa, the... easy there, little fella. <laughs> Missy has it. Missy has the big question. Okay. Oh, All right. Fair important stuff to Missy. There you well, go. Savage. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, I want to give a shout out to our friends supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza up the street here. Okay. Our friends at Slice on Broadway uh, here in Beachview, Carnegie, East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Again, it, since a lot of you guys are all over the place, and I know I saw a couple Broadway avenues when I was out in L.A. this week. If you got a Broadway in your town, our unofficial uh, campaign for their global expansion, please take a picture of the Broadway in whatever town you may be and uh, tweet them PGH underscore slice and tell them you want to slice on your Broadway and uh, get it out there to them. And maybe you never know. They've opened four locations seemingly out of nowhere, including PNC Park, where supposedly baseball happens. Um, So go check them out. Yeah. Baseball? Is baseball? Still? baseball? Is that a thing? I, not so much in Pittsburgh not anymore. In I don't know. I don't know. The Pirates seem to be getting into WrestleMania season two <laughs> from they, the looks of things. What was it? A dugout clearing brawl. Yeah. Brawl. Oh, they're run by a crazy man. So it, it was a battle royal. A three minute battle dugout. royal. It was. Right. Three Perfect. minute battle royal. <laughs> it also lasted three minutes. Who did it better? Blackcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we will be back with the big question and more after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. 
Anyways, we are back. It is Wrestling Mayhem Show, and it's post-Mayhem Mania. Still getting back used to that. And uh, it is time for the big question. And the big question, and we posed this, and we started, I, 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 we got to go in last night a little bit, and uh, I think Podner, I give kind of a heads up to, to for this. Um, a lot of stuff happened, and whether you watched all the programs, attempted to, or saw fan footage, or whatever the case, or saw it on tweets and gifts or gifs, we're not doing that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, that's a debate we won't get in on this show. Uh, but... Uh, anyways, so what was for you your most standout moment of WrestleMania weekend? This can be WrestleMania, a WrestleMania moment itself. It can be an NXT moment. It can be Joey Janela's Pancake Bashathon, whatever the hell was going on. It's going to be literally, I think this is the name, whatever the hell Orange Cassidy's doing. Yeah, that mm-hmm. was that which was, 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 was the name of a show. Name of the show. Uh, uh, what was the like holy crap thing that you saw that is your favorite disclaimer there will be a worst version of this after the next break uh, so <laughs> this is our big question tons of wrestling again different flavors uh, of it what was the craziest thing that you saw uh, best moment that you guys saw over mania week weekend <laughs> Who's first? Ooh. I'm first. Go ahead. No, you whoever go first. wants to go Take first, you got one. First. Ladies, I, first. Ladies first. I'm really not generally taken over by tag team wrestling, and I know it's being pushed right now, and mm-hmm. good tag wrestling is lost. And for me, I think one of the best matches I've really literally ever seen the product put out, NXT, uh, Alistair Black Ricochet versus War Raiders. Yeah. I mean, I mm-hmm. was literally just – and it was the storytelling aspect. It was it was the story for me. It was the talent, obviously. And um, I was just in awe. I absolutely loved it. So that's my moment. That's awesome. That was number yeah. two on my list. That was number two on your list. Yeah. That was I gotta fluctuating hear between. One. What's number one? Yeah. Oh, number, number one was the Daniel Bryan Kofi match. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. That was number one for me. Feels but, like a lot yeah. of people's number one. Yeah. 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 I, I was fluctuating on number two between that match and um, John Cena coming out. As the doctor, thugonomics. The, <laughs> <laughs> those were in my running, Larry. The, those two things right there, and Kofi holding up his son. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. that was great. That, that was a great moment. That destroyed me. That's a that feel good me. moment yeah. right yeah. there. Yeah, all oh, there was a there was a lot of tearful moments in this this year's mm-hmm. mania, like really. Yeah. I mean, just just a lot of just landmark moments like that. That like for whatever you think about it being like twelve and a half hours long or whatever. You know, like no, well, but this is the one where Kofi, like that's what we're going to remember is Kofi. Yeah. Uh, the the ladies had the the main event, and <sighs> you're going to remember that they had the main event. Yeah. And seven mm. title changes. Whatever you think, all the yeah. seven title changes. Like what? you're, but that that's basically that's what that show was. Yeah. And everything else, while everything else was competing for the WrestleMania moment, but those have to be the main ones. So, uh, Victor. Hmm. She stole mine. <laughs> do you want me to come back to you? Come back to me. All right. All right. So, uh, Bobby, uh, what do you got? I am going to go with the third fall of the Gargano versus Adam Cole match. Oh, jeez. Wow. That oh, was geez. intense. That was incredible. It was, a, it was a great match. I think my favorite low-key moment of that whole match was Adam Cole hitting Ciampa's finisher on Gargano. Mm-hmm. Man. That, I'm like, oh god, that would kill me if that's how it ended. I love the spot where he like super kicked him when he was coming into the ring, like when he like catapulted himself in the ring, and then immediately did like the sunset flip, like Canadian destroyer thing off the top rope. I was like, that was insane. <laughs> <laughs> like that this whole sequence. This is the sequence. worst time to come and do this show. We have not gotten to finish all of. The shows. So from you're the just weekend. getting slammed Wait. with spoilers. Yes. Spoiler, spoiler oh, after sorry. spoiler. Oh, it's fine. It's I'm fine. So sorry. <laughs> we knew. Thank it you, was and good night. <laughs> yep. And we're leaving on that note. Well, I didn't watch half of the Go home, sword. Game. Go I home. Watch MSG. I, I know. We but did it's so start... impossible, right? It is impossible. There's so much, and we were gone for so long, so we didn't get to what see. What were you any... guys doing this weekend that you didn't get to see? <laughs> From <laughs> sun up <laughs> to sundown. <laughs> there wasn't 1240 enough 1240 is the bewitching hour. Yeah, except it didn't end until 3 a.m. 
Yeah, it was wow. maybe 3.30, and then everyone was trying to scramble to find a place to go, and we ended up at a diner at, like, 4.30 in the morning, eating breakfast with one of our best friends, his best friend. It's his bromance, Bro Keller. Bro Keller. Shout out. Uh, yeah, watch watch out for Bro Keller. But we ended up with him <laughs> at a diner at 5 in the morning acting crazy with, you know. As it you was a do. good time. As, yeah, that's what we do. As you do after a crazy show, right? <laughs> yes. We had to digest, literally, and digest. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot to talk about from that show. Yeah. That we just couldn't believe. Yeah. It was so much. Hey, everybody's so stepping much. it up, trying to push the envelope, whether it works or not, right? Oh, the envelope was pushed all weekend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All weekend. Uh, Mad Mike, what is your surprising answer to this question? Okay, I'm, I'm going to have... Three moments, because wow. selfish. No, wait a minute. You get one. Wait, 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 wait. I'm one. moment. I'm gonna let Victor have his moment just in case first. If okay, you have one, well, I'm gonna have two yeah, then. No oh, good. I, I got two. If you got three, I got two. <laughs> I have one. Another no. one. No, no, Bobby. No, Bobby. You don't get Bobby. a moment. You're, you're done. Other one you one of moments. <laughs> okay, Bobby, so your other one you one first moment. Is me making WrestleMania. That, that, oh, that's my yeah. favorite. All right, justifiable. You had a personal right. best right. moment of the right. weekend. Yes. That's, well, that's, that's pretty that's amazing. Pretty the second, though, solid. is a non WWE company wrestling at Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is that's huge pretty... for the business all around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Doesn't uh, matter who it is, if you like it, you appreciate the, the product. Um, for them to fill that arena. All the history there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, friend, friend of the show, Nick Lendl. Uh, Nick we all Lendl. Yes. It, it Opened the show. The first announcer. And Not signed by WWE. Yeah, first non-WWE uh, uh, announcer since 63, I think we, it was. I think yeah. so, too. Since 1963. Right. Amazing. And we've, he's obviously from Pittsburgh, and we've mm. watched him come up, and he is nothing but sweet and kind and humble and mm. helpful and like I think I kind of cried for him. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I'm supposed to be real cold. <laughs> Might have the, the shed tears a tear. froze. They were, yeah. they were frozen yeah, tears. The tears, <laughs> tears froze. Yeah, yeah. Little yeah. baby I cried in Batman Robin. It warm, like, warmed up for that one. Like <laughs> Undertaker, you know, mm -hmm. just a couple of them sitting there. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so that's your two. Those are my two. All right. Me and MSG. That's a good one. There you go, right. Mad Those Mad Mike. How about you? Um, I, I got one from Mania, one from Takeover, and one from Access. <laughs> Access. Okay, oh, all right, that, that counts. Yeah. That counts. Hey, the Access one is the one that's gonna yeah. surprise you. All right, yeah. fucker. <laughs> plus, I'm a plus, I'm a twenty dollar patron, Sorg. I get perks. This, this is true. This is true. I got, yeah. a, I got a dollar. No, um, Mania, obviously, the Iconics winning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, last I, week, I was very happy with that. Yeah, last week that was one of the things like. If I could, if I could book any one match and have pretty much everyone else I wanted to win lose, I said I would have wanted the Iconics to win. When they won, I lost my shit. I think was that your dark horse that you called out? That was my dark horse. Okay. Yeah. Why was it so like, big for you? I love their whole energy. Like, um, I see a lot of the backstage stuff they do. Well, they're when just... they went around with the titles. Yeah, when they went around with the like. <laughs> Even before that, like when WWE went to Australia, mm -hmm. and there was there was a video circulating of um, they showed Peyton and Billy a video of their family watching them wrestle live for the first time. Wow! If you don't cry watching that video, you are dead inside. <laughs> you are legitimately dead inside and a terrible person. And I do not want to know you. What if you're frozen? If you're frozen, I, I grant exceptions, obviously. If you're frozen, okay, I get it. But but seriously, it, like just their whole like I I love Peyton and Billy since they were in NXT. Like they they were always interesting and you know, not the greatest wrestlers in the world. That's fine. If if your character is good, you can outshine great Sports wrestling. Sports entertainment. I, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you are entertaining, if you have a shtick per se, I mm. like people that have, um, of course, they're a tag, but they are very connected, mm. and that's yes. awesome. Well, you need that. Yeah, I mean, like if you hear interviews, they've known each other since they were fifteen, yeah. and they initially hated each other because they were the only two wrestling fans at their high school. 
So they instantly hated each other until they started talking to each other. Like, I mean, that, to be fair, that's people. most females. I'm pretty sure they just all hate each other until they don't. <laughs> it's like you meet someone and they're like, I don't like you. And then you talk and you're like, hey, all right, we're friends. Did we just generally... become best friends? All right. It's so <laughs> awful. Guys yep. are so different. I didn't, why haven't they made stepsisters yet? <laughs> yeah, right. It's not a thing. <laughs> Okay, so um, my thing from Takeover, Walter and Pete Dunn. Oh, oh, oh I forgot about really? that. Really, Walter and Pete Dunn. That was Dunn. great. Holy that... shit, that oh. was amazing. And, yeah. it, and if you guys haven't seen the match, I'm not going to say who wins. I'm just saying it was it was, it was a great match. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil. And a controversial pick, I believe. What do you mean? I, uh, well, we did I, see that there match. Was a, so you did see good. that match. But oh, a okay. lot were like, that one You know, didn't feel it for that one. Yeah, uh, I it. it was no, a different vibe. It, it started I slow, but it was great. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, it was great. But it's also, I, I think I put somewhere in the Facebook group, like, yeah, being the worst like match on a TakeOver card is like being... Uh, a damn good match. Yeah, it's being like, you know, the, the, the worst best in the world, you know, <laughs> at that point. <laughs> You know, like there's no. I don't even know uh, who's saying that was the worst match on the card. Um, there, there's just a lot of um, like that they didn't feel that match. Like, okay. Conversation I happening. Mean, that, that, that match I'm was just, slow uh, compared so, to like yeah. every other. I mean, after you saw takeover match the, ever, the Ricochet you know I mean? Alistair yeah. tag match. After you saw um um Velveteen's Velveteen match, and, yeah. and then you go to yeah. that. I mean, it's that that that's, that's a not a style. that's not a stereotypical yeah. takeover it, match. Yeah. Right. Like. Honestly, and honestly, the worst match on that show was like a 9.5. Yeah, it's, it's, so, <laughs> you know, high bars are set. For yeah, takeover. yeah. Still, they have not fucked up a takeover, and I cannot believe that's true. For how many years now, right? Yeah, they like it's for five ever. years. They've, they have not fucked up a takeover. That's ridiculous. The third thing, and the one that's going to surprise you, I was at Access on Monday, and they're doing some of the World Collide stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got to see a baller fucking match right up close, like ringside. And when it comes out on the network, I highly suggest everyone watches it. Candice LeRae versus Kaylee Ray. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kaylee Ray right is to amazing too. Mm. Uh-huh. They, they like, they fucking brought it. They yeah. they really did. Like I was even screaming, "Come on, Candace, this is access. You don't have to do this." Yeah. But it was, it was fucking great. Still, I think still they're gonna show all those. those. Like I think Sunday and like each week after, they're gonna have like one special at a time. Yeah, because they they did well. Um, I don't think it's gonna be that many because some of them were just episodes of NXT UK. Oh, okay. Yeah, some of them they just taped episodes cool. of NXT UK. They said there was like women's Clyde. Uh, that was that was a Monday when I went. Like we two saw, battle royals, a bunch of different matches. Yeah, um, and a couple other ones. Yeah, on Sunday I think there were two battle royals, and Thursday the one I want to see because I didn't get a chance to see it, but I heard it was amazing. Dijak versus Harper. Yeah, mm. I heard that was fantastic, and I can't wait to watch. I that. would like to watch that one as well. Yeah, yeah. but it, but Candice LeRae and Kaylee Ray. When that comes on the network, find it. Thank me later. It was amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Excellent. Uh, and also, like, kind of um, um, uh, notable notable things that did happen. Uh, uh, Sarah Logan getting kind of a moment. Yeah. She almost winning the, the Rumble. She did, right? Uh, she did not. Oh, oh that is wrong. Right. Spoilers! Oh. Oh. Mella is yes. money. And, they uh, always have to do that. And I didn't know Candice LeRae was even in the match, unfortunately, <laughs> that, that she made her, uh, you know, Mania debut with that, too. Um, I got tagged on Twitter today uh, by a clip from Maria Kanellis. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Which was really weird because clearly my lady does not have red hair and it's not long. Wait a minute. But someone <laughs> thought I was Mike Kanellis hugging Maria. The one After she, she was eliminated. The one where she runs up and like yes. jumps yeah. on him? Yes. Yeah. Someone thought what? that was me. Wow. Because he's bald and bearded in a suit. And I think people just, I don't know, like to throw things out there. But I was like, yeah, okay. that was me people. just backstage just, hanging yeah, in mania. Just randomly hugging this red-headed woman. 
No, not not, him. not my not my lady. Somewhere on <laughs> somewhere on the sheets, there's a rumor savage. floating around. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Oh, what here is, we go. <laughs> what is Maria doing with the savage gentleman? Uh-oh. Side note: I met both of them at the last uh, the last loop that we worked, and they were both such beautiful people. I was like, They're you, amazing. You two are so hot, and I'm just gonna leave and be a creep. I'm sorry, I had to say that. Uh, like, <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Yeah, right. She walked by me at WrestleCon 29 weekend, and it was just like, like that, sheesh. I mean. Yeah, it was just like, you were unreal. And he, right, because some people, and let's be honest, we know about filters and makeup and yeah. all of those things. And, and, and literally, like, it's the first time that I've been like, you were in Playboy, and I, now you're walking by me. You know? I did not know that. I was just going to that. say, no, I did not. Oh, yeah. I was just yeah. going to say she's, like, really, really gorgeous up close and personal. Mm-hmm. And there, are, and, there are some people that are and some people that aren't, but mm-hmm. they definitely are pretty people. Mm-hmm. I actually met Mike Canellis last year at WrestleMania uh, at the baggage claim. Like, <laughs> he, like he was waiting for his bag, and I had just I was like scrubbing through Twitter, and I saw he was like um, he sent a tweet out that he was leaving his newborn child to go into Mania, and it was his first time back on the road. And I happened to see he was on the same flight as me, so I went up to him right after. I was very quick. I was like. Listen, I just wanted to say congratulations on the new baby. Hope to see you at Mania. And he's like, oh, thanks a lot, man. He's like, you want a picture? I'm like, no, no, it's all good. You're, I just wanted to say hi and everything. And he was super nice guy. Yeah, and they were like, super this nice. This was the greatest <laughs> fan I've ever <laughs> Oh, that's great. Um, Always going on Bobby to ruin the moment. Yeah, thank, <laughs> thanks, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I, I guess, uh, for me, <laughs> this is going to be a weird one, but for me, like the biggest thing that sticks out in my head, like the weird feeling hearing them talking about Gargano's, uh, catering and <laughs> seeing the footage and seeing Turner's hall, you know, and just, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. like I filmed those shows behind Ga- Gargano's catering and now it's like part of the, you know, this is Gargano's story that's being told on like. WWE yeah. is so interesting. And a lot of people were so close to it. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've trained at that same facility, and, you know, to see Dom and those guys in the footage, it was just, mm. it makes it so real and surreal at the same time. And because... seeing, after he won, seeing, like, his father and Gregory Iron and, like, the family members I know I had seen there, you know, like, it was just so surreal to see that. And, again, a part of that, seeing guys like Ray Rowe, uh, you know, uh, Sarah mm-hmm. Logan, you know, as Elias even in, in the stuff that he did over the weekend. It was just, I, I said at some point, I was like, it, this is, you know, and plus all the stuff that happened at Madison Square Garden. Shane Taylor, Nick Nick Lendl. Um, I'm, I know I'm forgetting some pe- other people that are coast on there. Coast to coast. Coast to coast? LSG. Have you ever met Shaheem them? Ali. From New Jersey. We met them at Monster Factory Great a while people. ago. No, yeah, I'm not really, familiar really with nice. them. And not to mention Kelly Klein. Being uh, a Kelly two-time Klein, of course. women of honor champ. Yeah. And I just wrestled her a few weeks ago. Yeah, with Angel Gate. Uh, yeah. Episode 11, if you want to look that up. She plugs. <clears throat> Plug it. Yep. And, uh, you know, good stuff happening there. And it, it, it's really cool to see, uh, you know, you always say, like, you know, root for the hometown, you know, boys right. and girls. And that's, and, and it, it, as far as I'm concerned, that is Cleveland, too, for us. Right. And, you know, it's wild to see some people at your local indie show, and then the next day they can be on the big stage and you have no idea who when why but there's just you know a moment in time where you're like wow i just worked a show with them last week and now i'm watching them on television it's a great time to be a wrestling fan it's a great time to be a wrestler yes it is well. absolutely like and I, a puppet. I i i think in a puppet apparently uh, <laughs> okay uh <laughs> mama my puppet oh. left your puppet the left. big lights the big lights of wwe yes yes uh the puppet went for new york uh <laughs> to join the fed uh but anyways uh hey you know i got to catch up with a, a good friend of ours uh this past weekend out in la got to check out an enoki dojo show oh. out there how was that that was a lot of fun um no pun intended what funny bone was there oh funny bone was there yes funny bone the wrestler was there Great match. First time seeing Funny Bone uh, live. Uh, I think I've seen a little bit of his stuff uh, online and such. But uh, I also got to catch up with our good friend Alex Cars out there and uh, watch the show with him. <laughs> and that's always a lot of fun to uh, catch out with, with him. 
and uh, everything going on there. And, of course, you can support what's going on. Hey, hey look, we got some merch over here. It actually, uh, uh, Larry, can you go grab that hat C-3PO is wearing for me? Because I got visuals for this ad this week, guys. <laughs> I'm wearing the Wrestling what? Is t-shirt. And, by the way, uh, a, a fun thing happening with this Wrestling Is t-shirt. I, I meant to pl start playing with this a little earlier. And, we, and uh, uh, but it, it's wrestling is, and there's a nice line for you to fill in uh, underneath it. And uh, producer Missy made me um, post-it notes to <laughs> apply to the shirt, so I can say wrestling is my happy place. For instance, <laughs> let's see what else I got here. What else I got here? Uh, we can say uh, happy uh, wrestling is my drug of choice. Just put that on there. Uh, let's see. Uh, wrestling is, you guys can probably attest, best left to the professionals. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, let's see. Wrestling is the reason I'm broke. Yeah, that's, that's about right. <laughs> Most of us, right? I mean, right. and on both sides of the ropes, right? I mean, also. Sometimes. Uh, let's see. Uh, wrestling is, this is true, but this also applies to work. How I book my vacations. There you go. Yeah. There also you go. true. Like, hey, I think I'm going to Toronto this year. Uh, <laughs> Tampa Bay seems like a nice idea for 2020. Uh, and uh, this is very, this actually applies very much to this show. Uh, wrestling is how I make friends. There you go. <laughs> Ditto. Say how I met your but speaking of this awesome shirt, it is, what's that, what's that, Bobby? <laughs> Bobby, that was I you were going to say how I met your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, that was robots versus wrestling. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> but anyways, speaking of this fun shirt we just did this with, now I have all these stuck to it. Uh, <laughs> it is also, uh, April is also National Autism Month. And uh, our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, hence this shirt, are, uh, are going to be uh, supporting that in a big way. Uh, you can go over there uh, to shop.occupyprowrestling.com or whatamaneuver.net and pick up some of the merchandise, including the Wrestling Is shirt, including this uh, cool Smark hat. Uh, in the style of friends that we got here. See, we got all the merch now. This is how we do our ads now. Um, you look so <laughs> dapper. Let me tell you that hat. Does this work? Really is this makes my style? The I mean, does I, wonders for your eyes. It, it, <laughs> the, the, the hat and the, the post -it color note coordination, pasties. the black, the yellow, the <laughs> black, the yellow. Black Very, and yellow, black and yellow, Sorg. Black and yellow. Uh, but, anyways, 100% of proceeds. Uh, from uh, such items like I'm wearing right now, not including the post-it notes, uh, go to the Asperger's and Autism Network. You can check out aane.org for more information on those wonderful organizations. And uh, we'll see you at the shop over there at OccupyProWrestling.com. I'll just do the rest of the show like this now. There you go. Keep the, No? I'm getting a big head shake. You want this hat? <laughs> Wear the hat for the show. Oh, no, it's gone. Oh. Give C-3PO his hat back. <laughs> yeah, we'll give C-3PO his hat back. So C-3PO wearing the hat and the funny bone scarf that I got. Uh, but anyways. If so, anyone's the smart in the Star Wars universe, it's 3PO. Yeah, that is true. That is let's true. Be, let's be honest. It's, so uh, we had the best moments, but it wasn't all great because a lot of people try some pretty crazy stuff over the weekend. What? So what was the worst thing you saw, and who wants to say Enzo and Cass? Oh, wait. I, I didn't did, see them. I, I won't didn't. say it. I just saw I the clip. Like so. too I think it's many the, blanket, the blanket statement yes. that counts for everybody. And then we each get... You know what? In fact, let's call this the one. Enzo and Cass moment of WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Who yeah. gets the Enzo and Cass award for WrestleMania weekend? <laughs> Jeez. Um, that made me sad. I don't know what is the official word that they are signed, or was that a run in? I don't they, know. I don't know um, what to believe after Survivor Series with them. I think they're signed. Yeah, they're probably signed. Security wasn't trying to hold them off. No. Listen, guys, I have been uh, Mike. You know, I've been defending Ring of Honor for a good long time here, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I've been warning you against this. Yeah, and um, and Mike, yeah, you're right. Uh, so. You get a victory yep, on that one. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah. So I, I could have told you I was right from how they, you know, don't really treat their women of honor honorably. Like, what? they don't give them a fair shake. Wait a minute. What's wrong with their women of honor? They're starting to. It's turning into a dark <laughs> segment. I apologize. No, I, I used I used to watch so much, I never saw a single Well, they're, they're, they're on now. Yeah, I know. But, like, back then, they weren't. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's that's changed. Yeah, back I mean, then they, they were building them up on the net and stuff, and now they're becoming more a bigger part of the program. They have about a match every week. Now. Yeah, so okay. I, I think I think that for that that thing has changed. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I like Alex uh, saying, Alexa, has has it been 90 days since Enzo and Cass were released by WWE? Unfortunately, it's been far too long. Um, so there was that. What'd she say? She said sorry. Sorry, yeah. I'm not that she, but I'm always working on how I say things and I might not have it right. Did that answer your question? <laughs> Alexa, you shut look, up! It's, this is why it's okay, Alexa. Don't this. let him talk to you like that. <laughs> Like Alexa, did you host show, WrestleMania this year? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alexa, did you did you host WrestleMania this year? There's got to be something for this. Hmm. I don't know that. No, no. She doesn't know. No, yeah. I mean that sounds about right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Neither, I don't neither know that. Neither does Bliss, I guess. Uh, but anyways. <sighs> <laughs> All right, I have an Enzo moment. You have an Enzo moment. Yeah. No, that was already a moment. Pick a new no, one. No, no, that's just the, I'm just. I'm not saying No, that's that just what Enzo. we're calling the bad moment. That's what okay. we're calling the bad that's moment. That's the label. Oh. Yeah, we're just calling it the Enzo moment. Um, the Samoa Joe Rey Mysterio match. Really? Yeah, they should have replaced I... Rey Mysterio. If he's injured, yeah, they should have gave Joe an actual yeah. match. Mm. He should have been Kevin Owens. The dude I'd, missed I'd the last two ch- WrestleManias because of injuries. He finally got a chance, and it was a 30 second, like, blow. At least they look good in I, the match, though. I was yeah, wondering what like happened a there. Dominant yeah. badass against a former multi time world champion. I'm okay mm. with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they and kept plus, him strong. Plus, plus. It made sure I got out before 1 a.m. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Or 12:40, the bewitching hour. <laughs> I don't know. I would have liked to see Joe have an actual match at WrestleMania. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, yeah. I look forward. Like I, to me, like Joe versus Mysterio could have been a. a that would have really been a good... great match if he didn't like break his ankle in Raw the week before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anybody else have a, a, a what the hell moment from this weekend? Uh, what um, the hell moment? I watched a guy. Get side Russian leg sweeped with a light tube in his mouth. In his mouth. Uh, mouth. Oh, I've Ooh. seen it. I've seen it like across the chest. No, in. No, in in the mouth. Who Why was it? Who in the mouth. Avoid that because of what happened with Arquette. Who did Bill. who who'd that happen to? Um, David Arquette. Do you remember? Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Lloyd. Lloyd. Jimmy Lloyd. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh, that. I know Jimmy. And sounds... there's. Also, at some point in that match, there were open scissors stuck to a board that were tossed at someone, and the scissors stuck into their throat. Ooh. Oh, boy. There's that moment. Does that count? Yeah, that counts. <laughs> there was I'm a lot of blood there. I'm particularly not a fan of that. Uh, oh, you know I, what, though? They didn't run with them. definitely sounds so. like something you can't teach. Jugular. Jugular. They didn't run something. They lined something up against someone's neck. I don't know. Was it? There was so I much craziness. Know. Was it a the match ended at that point situation? No, no, no it did not. The wow. match ended, and there were still light tubes yet to be used. What show was this? This was. Was that Spring Break? This was Spring Break. Okay. There were light tubes still yet to be used. So they took it upon themselves to just start smashing their own heads with light tubes. Yep, smashing their own heads. Actually, More that's fun. how the that's how the match started as well. So that's maybe true. we could put storytelling in there in that match somewhere. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a spot involving an actual light tube that doesn't seem very bright. <laughs> mm. Terrible oh. pun. That's the first one. Oh. Oh. I can't believe it took so long. <laughs> uh, right. Sorry. I'm sorry, I had to lighten the mood somehow. Yeah. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Boom. No. Uh, Lady well, Frost that... enjoyed that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to Deathmatch Wrestling. <laughs> that was probably it was your first seeing Deathmatch. Like at, at that capacity, uh, yeah, live, like yes. legit 100% Deathmatch Wrestling. Yeah. Yes, that was that was our. Yeah, you that pop, popped our cherry. You you guys okay. you guys did miss light tube night at uh, the gathering when you were there. So, oh yeah, I think we've seen light tubes before. It. I mean that's kind of like standard, I think, in the deathmatch world. Yeah, um, yeah we've, you know. we've seen the tattoo needles. We've seen tables get lit on fire and people thrown through them. Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, this Poor was G really Raver. really extreme. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. As I say, every time I see G-Raver at that Blackcraft show, I was like, hey, good to see you again. 
I still worry about you. <laughs> <laughs> is my first two sentences out of his mouth every time I see him. So I'm at RWA a couple months ago. Hey, good to see you again, especially so soon after Blackcraft. I still worry about you. I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> well, two weeks ago, he went through a flaming table. Yeah. Was yeah. he the one that had his hands impaled? No, 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 no. No. no, no. Okay. That was not. Two, okay. I will live. The, the person, okay, the person who got the nails in the crucifixion yeah. thing that's been going around, uh, he actually does. Um, I remember I was talking about the gathering and the people that did the skin hang thing. Oh, okay. And they actually played at the top of the block here. Uh, okay. Only flesh is the band. So that's not well, outside the realm of things that he does. Yeah. So it's just. Got it's, it. So to waylay your fears on that. Is one. there a category? Because I know it's not, he's not a magician, but I know people side that, show. like, sideshow? Yeah. Side I, mean, I feel like that's an insult, almost. No. Why? No. Like, flame swallowers or sword yeah. swallowers. Yes. Yeah. The, the Something guys of that, that sort? The guys that nail the, the, the nail in Would their nose. Would it be nose. oddities? Right. Is oddities yeah. Yeah. more yeah. a politically correct term but in this day and age? But he literally had nails through his, the palms of his mm-hmm. hands. Mm-hmm. To a cross. In the proper place. Correct. Oh, it's a there's, stunt. there's a proper place to be nailed to a cross. Well, I mean, he didn't go through his tendons or anything. Yeah. Though, okay. so yeah. He could still move his fingers afterwards. Got it. I want to meet that guy and say, I still worry. So I can say, I still worry about you. I <laughs> 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 I see him. I, if I knew him, I probably would too. But uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty fantastic to see him actually sing his songs while swinging from the skin of his uh, shoulders. His own skin? Wow. Yeah, his own skin. Some of them have Isn't kind of that, hooks installed, too. Yeah. Right. Have you ever seen, oh, my, what movie is it now? Jennifer Monty Lopez. Pi- the Monty Cell. Python, right? No, it was The Cell, and it's about a serial killer, and he has all the rings on his back, and he hangs himself mm-hmm. over his victims mm-hmm. who he just bleached. So anytime mm. I hear someone hanging from their skin that's pierced, I always think of a serial killer. So, it's, you know. <laughs> well, they also did that in Lucha Underground. Cool. The one girl was hanging from her butt when they played up here. It was really wow, wow, yeah, like the skin of her but, butt. No, but they did that in Lucha Underground. Happens. Remember Vampiro's torture chamber for Pentagon? Oh, oh they yeah. did. That's right. No, no, thank you. That is, <laughs> no, that, that is not you. our cup of tea. <laughs> No, thank you. Well, I mean, it, it was it was it was san it was sanitized for TV. Like, I'm that, sure it was. You, okay. you can tell you can tell oh, that. Yeah. Well, I hope they sanitize yeah. that they're doing these. Do things. we look that like was, we want movie. impalements in our skin and to be hung no. from them? Do we strike you as that kind of couple? Sometimes. Do, yeah. that, does does pretty proper strike you as an impalement couple? <laughs> <laughs> No. Savage. Sorry. Yeah, that's not savage. So not savage. Or also, that's not what we mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about you, Victor? What was your... <laughs> do you have another one? No, or do you just collectively... I'm just chiming in on everyone. Uh, fear scissors. I, I'm sorry. My, I, I'm having no, the light my... tube in the mouth no, took I'm, it from me. My, my, my... Not the, the throat being slit either. Someone was killed. Oh, they, they did that up the road. Killed. Yeah, yeah I did see that. Yep. Effects yeah. Did uh, I get the horror film um, nod into the wrestling world. Like, I get the artistic vision. It's just not ours. No, no, no. Yeah, and, it's, and again, the flavored ice cream, they're doing something right. different. Flavors right. of and ice cream. And I appreciate cream. it. This and one know... had all the cherry syrup. <laughs> 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 and pistachios. Yeah. <laughs> But I think, you know, you can still get along with people and respect them and respect yeah. what they do mm. and not agree with it. Mm. And that's that's the wrestling industry. You know, some people are into the comedy. Some people are into the hardcore. Mm. Some people are into family friendly. And mm. that's OK, because wrestling is literally for everyone. Mm. As long as you're not a jerk to the other, you know, the people that enjoy the other flavors, then I have no problem with it. Mm. But I think had we known some of the crazy stuff that was happening I personally may have bowed out, mm-hmm. um, but mm. I was unaware that someone was being murdered at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, murder. Sorry, so Dad. Oh, the yeah. 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 What else murder? can we get? Straight up murder is the line. Murder. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. murder. Yeah. yeah. See, murder doesn't phase me that much in, I mean, in my past life. I you know. <laughs> yeah. Seen a lot of it. But I, 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 I made a comment about like about like, oh, yeah, the guys do the effects up to Steve. And somebody like was like, what do you mean he wasn't actually murdered? And I was like, hey, we need to reassess kayfabe right now. <laughs> I, I right. Just, just, I just, <laughs> can we can somebody send me the new roles? Because uh, I'm not I sure what we're doing. I still don't day. even know 
who is Chuck Taylor and who is Stokely Hathaway? I know, right? Oh, oh. that was a great moment, though. So it started on Twitter. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, Stokely Hathaway got signed to yeah. NXT. Yeah. And Chuck Taylor put out some sort of tweet that said, great, I'm taking your name. It's up for grabs. I am now Stokely Hathaway. And <laughs> it blew up. So everyone knew about it. And then he comes out. It was at the Chicago show. Yes. And he made the announcer announce him as Stokely Hathaway. It was freaking great. And everyone just exploded, which is the best part because mm-hmm. that's wrestling Twitter for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was fantastic. And for those who don't know, like, Stokely Hathaway took the Chuck Taylor name for a bit, too. Yeah. Which has led to mm. all of this. Stokely had bought the name so. Chuck Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. Stokely had bought the name Chuck Taylor, so he was calling sense. himself Chuck Taylor. Yeah, <laughs> and this was a whole thing, mostly in Chikara, I think, right? Yes. So yeah, yeah. Um, so sword, we need to talk about the other, my biggest Enzo moment of the WrestleMania weekend. <laughs> that fucker at the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Now, Good now I am fine. not a, I am not what you would we we would call a Bret Hart fan. I was more of an Owen guy. HBK but still. Yeah, also also Sean. Also Sean. Definitely Sean. I'm team Sean. But you don't take down a, a 60-year-old man at the Hall of Fame. Stroke survivor. I don't care who it is. Mm-hmm. I don't care who uh, it you is. D- you don't take down anyone from behind unbeknownst to them yeah. ever. Mm-hmm. That's like a well, life yeah. thing. That, that's, that's just that's how about true. how about we do this thing it's called being good people. Yeah, yeah. common decency. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It yeah. seems to be lost. Oh, you mean Dash Wilder? No. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Somebody, uh, Chachi was was posting uh, uh, about the story about the guy afterwards, and, and, and they were talking about like his his uh, the deal in front of the judge and everything. And, and somebody I don't know them commented, it was like, "Did you see that one that uh, the, the Dash Wilder taking the pot shot at him? Like that was really shitty." I was like, "No, that was a receipt. Yeah, that was, that's what we that call was a just deserved. And he's lucky yes. it was only one. Yeah, he's lucky it yep. was only one. Well, that, it was it was the only it. one because he got." Punched a couple times. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. no a couple he got he got beat times. up by Travis Brown in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I don't right, know. But to be it fair, was from there's a... a long list of people who have been beat up by Travis Brown. <laughs> True, but that's what Allegedly. makes it so much worse for that guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Junior jumped in the ring. It was after. yeah, because it, it was just uh, you had nothing between uh, that guy and uh, the people in the front row. It was like you are not fucking doing this to Bret Hart right now. No, you know, because whatever you think of Bret Hart, even if you're not in the Bret Hart bandwagon. Bret Hart is still a legend. The legendary Bret Hart. Yeah, right. You cannot <laughs> denounce. Like I have, I I have, I take issue with like uh, Bret Hart. Maybe wasn't great to people and stuff, but it was just like Bret Hart was still Bret Hart. Yes. You know. I don't understand why they didn't I, do it on a stage. Because they all right, and I was gonna get to this because they switched the days. No. Typically, no. they do the Hall of Fame on Friday. Yeah. So they don't have to set up the ring in the oh, arena yeah. that they're doing it. But because they did take over on Friday, they had the ring set up. Yeah, just leave so they're the like, ring up. We're not going to take down the whole thing just for the Hall of Fame to put it back up. Yeah. Sunday. Well, normally like, it's the raw ring for the Hall of Fame. Yeah, we're raw. The, yeah, the raw stage but, for the Hall of Fame. But that's but that's what I'm saying. Like, they're not going to take down the ring at Takeover to put up a stage for the Hall of Fame. It was a time and cost saver. Yeah. Yeah. In the long run. Um, and a yeah, because like they even acknowledge they did stuff different for this Hall of Fame, and honestly, I didn't like the aesthetic of it. No. I thought the aesthetic looked mm-hmm. kind of lame. Uh, having the close up, uh, and you just had fans doing fan things behind like Bret Hart, like have doing a serious speech about yeah. about the like Jim Neidhart. Yeah, when a guy's checking his phone and another one's like sipping on his big gulp mm-hmm. and, and and whatever. Um, and, and again, I only watched, I think, up until the Hulk Hogan in, uh, um, in, induction uh, mid speech. So uh, it was, so I don't know what else may have happened throughout the rest of the night for that. Sorry, I just wanted to reevaluate my Enzo moment. <laughs> you got, you got, Brian, oh, yeah. Brutus in the Hall of Fame is not Brian. okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's all. I, okay. I <laughs> accept Brutus in the same way I accept the Coco Beware or something like that. I mean,. They don't have to be. Hey, at least at least Brutus was a tag team champion at some point. He was, he was. No, I'm uh, no, I'm serious. Like, okay. I'm sorry, dude. I, I, wait, 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 wait. You, uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Larry did not grow up with Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Okay, first of all, so for for us that did grow up in the era where Bruce Barber Beefcake was 
freaking over as hell. Yes, because I, I as mean, a child, I you. had the big giant foam scissors. The greatest yeah. thing was there that you. that yeah. action figure yeah. came with the scissors. Yes. Okay? Without that was Bruce the Beefcake. shit. The little hole without in his Bruce hand. Beefcake. You just plugged him right in. <laughs> you don't have something like that. That's right. Without right. Bruce don't, Beefcake. Don't do that again. With, don't. Without don't Bru- do it. Nope. Freeze, freeze him. Nope. Freeze him. <laughs> freeze him. What are you doing? He's still frozen anyway. frozen. What is he doing? You're done. I don't know what's happening. He's plugging the scissors into the action figure. Oh, I see what's happening. <laughs> this is so creepy. Okay. Ah, no. <laughs> Wait, if we push down his back, does he do that little hop just like the figure too? And your arm's stuck in the, that, like, yeah, like, like that thing. <laughs> and then the other one hold, is holding the scissors. And then we, we push on your back and you do this hop attack. It was, <laughs> yeah. There back, you go. Back, back to the stage. And, that's, and that is oh. a gif or gif. That, that stage looked more appropriate for the slammies. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It looked like yeah. it, no. It, it really though. It, it it looked like a segment you would have on Raw or SmackDown it or did. the Slammers. Yeah, it looked it looked like the Miz's Championship Celebration. It did a little bit. It did a little bit. But I mean, it, it's. I get them the trying thing, a thing. I, I hope they I don't do, do it again. Wanna, I do want to. I do want to say, um, props to Tori Wilson. Yeah, I, I really Pro- liked her speech. Um, not only not only her speech. Her speech was fine. Her but being dad, able to keep it together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Her dad yeah, passed absolutely. away two, two days, days before. before. And Al Wilson was a huge part of her WWE mm-hmm. career. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like legitimately a half of her career was due to her dad. Mm-hmm. And to, to keep it together as well as she did and to not even mention it till toward the end of the speech, that was amazing. And to anyone who say Tori doesn't belong in the Hall of Fame, go fuck yourself. Yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, and she, she's, her speech, she knew where she was on the totem pole. Like. Where was she? she? Well, no, no, like she knew, like she even said, she was like, I wasn't hired for my great wrestling ability. Like. She knew what role she had to play in the company. Mm-hmm. And she played it to the very best of her ability. Mm-hmm. And you can't ask for anything more than that. Mm-hmm. You really can't. And it was nice to see Stacey Keebler again, too. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Well, first time, well, I think they even said, first time on What'd WWE say, anything in like... 11 years? 11 years, something like that, yeah. 11, 13 years, something like that. Yeah. That's a long time. Mm-hmm. Especially given that, the fact that that's a, everyone that's comes a, back. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a Clooney and an A Rod away. It's <laughs> mm. mm. true. Uh, from the chat room, I just want to touch on a couple of quick things because I don't think I touched on some of the positives with these guys either. Uh, Potter, another positive for me was the house call from the doctor. I think he's talking about the thugonomics. I hope he's not talking about Scott Hall and Nash. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was no. a weird thing. That was unsettling. Yeah, I, I was ta- I was talking to somebody, and I think I missed like the I, gist of I that. I just think of Kevin Nash quoting after he attacked um, Brian when he said, stick the winner. That's mm. the only thing I was thinking of. Mm. And then someone else, uh, I think Brandon posted the finger poke of doom. <laughs> uh, Matt Carlin, who I know he did watch this on Saturday, his, his favorite match of the weekend was Naito and Abushi. That alone makes me want to grab that New would, Japan that would for be the a month and watch that. So uh, we'll probably we'll probably be picking up that new Japan here this month and uh, getting into that whole thing. Give me some stuff to watch on the road. Um, he has a <laughs> as if the, net, the network isn't freaking enough. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Anybody else out there have any positives or negatives? I, I have uh, two. Shane, by the way, Shane got a. a oh, we forgot about Bobby. oh, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. What, what was your? What was yours? <laughs> no, 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 finish the chat. No, 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 no. I'm still looking for some stuff. Okay. Um, my, I have two uh, negatives. Uh, I did not watch the ROH show. However, I felt sadness <laughs> when Dalton Castle turned on the boys. No! no! Yeah. Bobby, I wasn't ready! <laughs> uh, oh. I was not ready for that. No! Oh, now uh, I'm mad about yeah. spoilers. Okay, I'll, oh, I'll give you a spoiler. My very first oh, ever yes. adventure into pro wrestling mm-hmm. in a ring was being one of the boys. For Dalton nice. Castle. No. Yes. Oh, yes. We need to find oh. the picture. 
Yes, uh, at Night of Superstars. Yeah. I saw the oh picture. God. It was ridiculous, but it was fabulous so, as well. I, mean, I was probably the most form. Jack tattooed boy ever. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you can form a league of boys to go after Heel Dalton. Yeah. There you go. A league of boys. Something similar to like the Guardians. Guardians mm. of the Boys. So, the, oh, the, the Guardians know, of the Boys? They may be the Guardians of the Independent League. That waiver's a little boys. weird. I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. My, my other one, I'm going to tweet Vince McMahon about this. Oh, no. <laughs> he reads his tweets. Remove the freaking drawbridge sound effect on Aleister Black's entrance. <laughs> <laughs> right now. It. It wait, 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 well, on Raw, they didn't even do it. Like, he just popped up, didn't he? Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, the thing, the thing yeah, broke. they did. Oh, it broke. It was broke. Okay. And it still had the damn sound effect in the background. It did? I didn't, I was listening for the sound effect. I listened for the sound it, and I didn't hear it so, either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They did not, they, I heard it. they did not do it at an NXT. They did it on the, on SmackDown and Raw last week. Yes, they did they it did on it WrestleMania. It. It's Vince McMahon. <laughs> I love, that we, I love that we just blame Vince for this. So as if there's not like Vince, hundreds of production no people making decisions this on who loses bridge. their first name. Uh, 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 no other explanation. Also, when uh, when the, uh, the the video interrupted uh, Elias, there's that like radio dial sound. I've heard it in so many things, you know, mm-hmm. like the Wilhelm scream from Star Wars, uh, you know, but. I- Sorg, I do love that our musical guest was actually a musical guest. Uh, no. Had to do it one last time. One last time. Uh, okay. Um, he, he, Elias showed off skills in three different instruments. Tina. That's impressive. And, and we, we're going to see more. I was looking forward to the triangle. Um, Tina, uh, Tina's low point for ROH New Japan was the allure, which is basically the beautiful people 2.0 with Mandy Leon. I didn't see that. Yet. Well, I didn't see much. Oh, of it. I haven't seen the show. I saw a few pictures. It, it, it's and I, and I feel, I, I I feel bad that of all the great stuff that happened at Ring of Honor, or New Japan, and MSG, is all we, all that's making the internet buzz that makes my feed at least, is the Enzo and Cast thing. That's true. Not well, like not similar for us because we have a few friends there. Yeah. So we're yeah. getting we're yeah. getting yeah. I, the, the Nick Lando the been coast seen, to coast. I've been seeing like the Kelly Nick Klein. and the Shane Taylor stuff and Kelly Klein stuff. Yeah, at Shane least. Taylor. But other than oh, like I, their involvement, but I'm not seeing the general like, hey, it was cool when this happened. It was cool that this happened. You know, like like well, kind of buzzworthy uh, kind of stuff. Like somebody said uh, on Twitter, ROH's side they dropped the ball and. Uh, New Japan side, they were amazing. Yeah, like yeah, it was like two different companies, like mm-hmm. night and day. Which it was. Uh, so. Oh yeah, well, it was, but it was like night and day difference. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I mean, it was the day. It was the day that it was the day to make your stake, and not everybody's going to over the weekend. So, mm-hmm. um, Brian Clark, Adam Baum, mm-hmm. <laughs> Is Adam Baum in our chat room. Uh, his standout moment from uh, when uh, he was uh, oh, he heard he was booked in Mayhem Mania. When he was walking back to the wrestle uh, at, at the WrestleCon hotel after May after Friday. Iron Sheik was riding his scooter in front of me to the elevator. Someone mentioned Hogan, and he started with a big rant that ended with him calling Hogan a Hollywood blonde jabroni. Wow, he's not wrong. He's no, he's not wrong. Yeah, also like you know, Iron Sheik's Iron Sheik scooting by you at WrestleCon had one of those moments too, and. That's always a good one, but um, well, with that, I think we've you want you want another Enzo moment. You got another Enzo moment. Another Enzo moment was Phil Baroni. There, there were some questionable things going on and being said about him. However, I was there for it. I took the picture on Phil Baroni's phone after he addressed Lady Frost as her his favorite wrestler. He asked to take a photo with me. I'm I'm apparently his favorite wrestler. So we have it a was, photo somewhere. It was a little cringeworthy. You know? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. It was one he of those asked like me of all people. Right. Can you take a picture of me and your significant other? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. I was so... like, tweet it. We're, we're waiting. We're <laughs> waiting. Do you see that yeah. on the internet somewhere? That'll oh, be boy. fun. Oh yeah. 
Oh boy. <laughs> so we're gonna beat we're gonna beat the uh, the internet. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> you heard you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, all right. Uh, one more uh, mention here, and then we'll be heading out with uh, what you learned this week. I uh, want to shout out to our friends at the Bardic Mystery Tour. They're new here on the network at Sorgatron Media. Uh, we're a bunch of sports entertainment fans. See? <laughs> See? Getting in it. Uh, here talking about Wrestling Week the Week. Uh, what could be more entertaining? How about Dungeons & Dragons? Better yet, how about a D&D podcast? That's right. Our friends at Bardic Mystery regale the crowd with tales of rock band of bards on tour. They kick in doors, solve mysteries. So it's kind of like Scooby-Doo, but with like music. Zoics. So, <laughs> I, thank you. Uh, and as an added bonus, uh, they write original songs for the podcast. You can go check it out over at bardicmysterytour.com. Trust me, this saved my life driving back from the Dayton show uh, uh, a couple months ago. Uh, it's a really a fun podcast that you guys can check out. If you like some of our humor here, you'll probably dig what's going on over there as well. Uh, so go check them out, bardicmysterytour.com. We have a question for our guest from the chat room. Um, Tina is asking, what is the baseball player on Victor's arm? Bill Mazeroski. Nice. Cool. That is the oldest baseball card that I owned was the Bill Mazeroski card. Really? Yes. It's probably worth a lot of money. Eh, it has a big crease in it. Are any cards worth money these days? Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Still, people still play that game? I yeah. don't understand, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real thing. Somebody out there does, right? I'm more interested in my old Batman cards and Ninja Turtle cards. My, I had, my friend, I had a funny story about Ninja Turtle cards. Where's our chat room at? Thought. Do we have any other questions? <laughs> questions from the chat room. Um, Hello. We have, it's is time for the, uh, what did you learn from wrestling this week? There's a lot to learn. Of course, there's a lot of good and bad. But what were the lessons of this week, other than don't play with scissors? <laughs> I learned. Be, that should be a life lesson. Bobby? Since I'll go first since I went last last time. Sure. <laughs> I learned. I'm truly, truly, truly happy for Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder because they're awesome and they deserve the Tag Team Championship. And they did not lose it the next night on Raw, which yes. was even better. Thank you. And I also learned that we need to lose the drawbridge sound on Alice. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> it is a sticking point. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I, you know what? How do they shorten his name? Is he just going to be Alistair? Are they just going to Allie from London? Yeah, Allie from London. He's not, no, he's from like Amsterdam. Allie from London. Allie from the Amsterdam. Air. Even better. Oh jeez, Larry, what'd you learn this week? Man, come back to me. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Sorry. We talked well, about. Oh, well, well, Larry, like, thanks. I. I have um I went to WrestleMania with two uh WrestleMania newbies. Oh. Yeah, um my my girlfriend and my sister. It was both their first WrestleManias. So I asked them what they learned from WrestleMania. Uh they each gave me a list. A list. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm I'm going to say I'm going to go through quick. So uh so it doesn't take up too much time, but there there's a lot to unpack. Uh one, women's bathrooms are far clearer for any other event and less crowded. Um, long be long hair and beard. I will never be able to differentiate these guys from one another. You better be in the good graces of the McMahons to get some real scream time. A cult-like camaraderie exists between WWE fans. And yeah. WWE fans do not acknowledge whether the fights are real, outcomes are predetermined, all of it is real. Also, a yes. supplementary one for my girlfriend. Does Elias actually wrestle? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually. Well, that's so much lately, but still. I, I told her she's not wrong, and I've been saying this for, for months. Uh, and, and for my sister, how does everyone know the chance? How do you know when to count for a pin? I did this wrong many times. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> huh. It is. I guess things someone new would ask. I think. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, it's it's not like they're not exposed to wrestling. Is this is just their first time in front of a massive wrestling crowd? Oh yeah. Yeah, because like my sister used to go to Raws with me all the time when we were kids. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so how come they didn't show backstage packages like they did at Raw? Valid question. Yeah. Trust me, yeah. Um, so many people carrying belts. Don't they get tired? Like, how do you drink with it? <laughs> <laughs> and they should That's have simple. to defend you put them. Put it around your waist. Yeah, but not a lot of people do that. Yeah, but what about like Becky? I feel be- like Becky seems to be lugging those things, and just Becky like... has no idea how to walk with two belts. No, <laughs> no, she is having some trouble. She, there is a learning curve to that. Well, she she um, was wearing one of them for Raw. Wasn't she, she was, she was, so but she, she was wearing off. one. She looked really. I think awkward. she was wearing the Raw. F- I think she was wearing the Raw belt for Raw. Well, I mean, yeah. The belt. To be fair, I mean they are awkward, They're especially big. if you're a They're smaller big belts. female. They're... Those yeah. ones are big. I have some little mm-hmm. tiny one that has points that like stick me in the stomach and you can't bend over and it's just it it's weird it's yeah. awkward it's I'm very like, similar to the old divas title oh really oh yeah mm-hmm. ah, it, it, is. it sounds like a hellraiser death trap speaking of <laughs> doug bradley oh, <laughs> uh sorry there was okay, a lot um my, sorry my sister had three more observations um <laughs> she she <laughs> said she make said make sure we get them I'm, all my 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 sister and my girlfriend were very detailed uh she said the bar is empty and I asked, do you mean the tag team, the bar, or the actual bar where you were at? And she's like, oh, no, the bar I was at. And she said, it's because everyone didn't get up for drinks. They were just watching the matches. Because she's used to going to concerts and stuff where the bars are full. Mm-hmm. Um, she also said, John Cena raps like that's his character. What was that stupid phrase he had? Everything about it is awful, and I had no idea, and I would like it to stop. <laughs> okay. And then her supplemental one was just Kofi with a heart emoji. <laughs> so yeah, oh, producer. My uncle, my uncle watched it for the first time as well, and all I gathered was that he really, really hates Baron Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Let Solid. me see. Uh, oh, by the way, producer Missy has pulled up. Oh no! Hold on. Wait. Pull this back up again. There. It, ah no! It reloaded. It reloaded. Uh, the picture of Shane. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the Victor. Uh, with the boys with, as the boy as the boy as I, the I boy. believe you're the one in the white pants right or a white sheet or whatever that is it was a loincloth a loincloth and it was sparkly before he was a man <laughs> a gentleman a savage he was a gentleman. boy he was a gentle boy <laughs> I once was a boy a then, I put, <laughs> then I put away my loincloth and became a gentleman I was a savage, gentle boy. Please use that in a promo sometime. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Um, thank you, Producer Missy. Thank you, Producer Missy, for that. <laughs> Resurfacing that. Well, we'll tweet it later. Um, <laughs> Larry, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I, right. Do you I, have an answer? I do. <laughs> I do. John I Cena you, coming back as the Doctor of Thugonomics would be the equivalent of the Undertaker coming back as the dead man after American Badass. I would be okay seeing another run with him as the doctor. Oh, please. I'd be okay. Yeah, with me that. too. Just and against the American badass. Sure, why not? Yeah, let's just do yes. it. Yeah. I'm totally I mean, fine with that. Um, hey, if if Taker went back to the American badass, he could shave his head again so he doesn't th- look like Fraser Crane. Um, this is not what I learned. It could be, but uh uh uh, I had the thought that like Triple H can is at the point where he can slide from gimmick to gimmick basically. Mm-hmm. Like he's DX guy one night, he's badass, you know, King of Kings Triple H the next night, and he's COO the next night. Like Mad Max. John Cena, yeah, he's Mad Max. John Cena is now on that. I can slide to my past gimmicks, like from night to night. Thing. Yeah, but he shouldn't go back to the Johnny Ace gimmick that he's. Uh, he a he few should go ago. back to local talent that wears the local team sports clothes. Yeah, yes. I'm fine with that. Yes. What I think it is really what it just came down to. It simply was to hide his horrendous haircut. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let him yeah. let him wrestle with the hat. That's what it is. Just put a chin strap, chin strap on that hat. Just it's just weird. I see him in so many like paper towel commercials anymore, and it's just like glad what the he's, trash bags and he's trash the bags elephant. or something. Or He's the elephant for avocados, or no, not uh, yeah. for pistachios. What? Pistachios, yeah. Pistachios. Mm-hmm. Can't knock the hustle. Victor, what do you? Think? The hustle, hustle loyalty, respect. respect. Oh, hustle. I set myself up <laughs> yeah. for that one. Victor, what'd you learn? Oh, if you're gonna go to a death match, <laughs> make sure you're not sitting near the front row. No, no, it's no. terrible. I have been. That's sh- a good lesson. I have been showered with glass. 
Yes. Yeah. Wow. Glass. Blood. Uh, fumes from the light tubes. Mm -hmm. Mercury. Blood. Mercury. Mercury. Mercury, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was not that fun. <laughs> were you, wait, were you front row for that? add um, on to that. We were damn close. Yeah. Yeah. Don't play with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask you what you learned. Boys and girls do not play with scissors. <laughs> Unless you are a seamstress or <laughs> you cut hair. <laughs> if we're in wrestling, do not play with scissors. No. What no. about what Brutus the Barber Beefcake? Yeah, right. uh, no. Brutus. <laughs> Hall of Fame. Was that an homage to Brutus? <laughs> also, uh, and I think this is for Jimmy Havoc, maybe not schedule several death matches in one week. Correct. Yeah. Because he was uh, out injured, I know, for Black Crab. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I, I presume that wound only came from a death match. It a gaping wound. Like on his arm. Yes. Four, so. four death matches in a funeral. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> actually, yes, Doug Bradley. So, <laughs> goodbye, preacher. Um, anyways, uh, I learned. So, I, I, I mentioned, uh, and you can listen to uh, the Monday Mayhem wrap up we did last night uh, with. Uh, who would. Who was with me? Rob was with us. Um, last week was Dave Potter. I talked about the Inoki Dojo show, the uh, Lucha. Oh, I'm going to mess up the name of it. Uh, Puri Puriaro uh, show out there. I, somebody's party. yelling at me out there. Sorry, Garza. Uh, but anyways. Uh, Puriaro? Yeah, that's it. How do you know that? Okay. I'm very smart, Spork. Uh, you, it's that Lucha <laughs> Underground coverage. Um this was like a warehouse show, and I think it was a trainee show. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, a lot of tag matches, a lot of you know good stuff. It was pretty solid all around. But it was just kind of dawned on me, and in there's recent there's, you know shows I've seen uh, uh, over the past several months where you know th this is a show where they're in a warehouse with maybe three rows of you know not entirely full chairs, and the men and women on this show are working harder than some shows I've seen in front of 300 people here in the Pittsburgh area. Like, just, I wouldn't call it work rate, but just, like, urgency and mm -hmm. just, you know, uh, putting Dedication on a good show. Aircraft. Dedication to it. Like, I've seen a lot of, show, a lot of sh shows where there's, like, a lack of sense of urgency, it feels, in some of the matches lately. Yeah. Like, this has been... Lazy. It has been a thing I have noticed over the past three months... And there's no specific promotion. Like, this has been, like, across different promotions that I've noticed this at. And it's just been, like, you know, I don't know what it, what it is. It, it feels like, okay, it's a hot – if it was, like, this was a show in a hot, like, summer gymnasium or something, it's, it's kind of what I would expect, right? But that's not the case in this. Mm -hmm. And and that dawned on me just seeing this. Again, just not even 100 fans there and seeing just great stuff – for the entire night for six matches, yeah. right? And again, mostly tags. There's a ten man lucha tag, and and it was great, you know. They always say you never know what match you're going to get noticed from. Who's going to watch that footage? Who's going to see the pictures? Who's going to talk about you? Mm -hmm. And you have to wrestle every match like that's the one. Mm -hmm. And yes, things happen, and yes, some opponents aren't. You know, you don't gel the same, but you you put it out there every time. And it's definitely, I mean, it was definitely just a different philosophy seemed to be applying at this show. Uh, I'm not saying it's a West Coast thing. I'm probably more that facility and the people that are involved there. Because I also saw like a blood show in Sun City a couple of years ago in California. And that was completely different. Uh, so I in front of 16 people. But uh, it was good. Go check out the Anoki Dojo on uh, social media. Uh, they have a small following, but you, so I don't know how long they've been doing this specific thing. Do you remember any of the names on the card? Funny Bone was on the card. He was the, you know, obviously like the person I was brought in. In two weeks, they're going to have actually Drago and Delilah Doom on the card. Like it looks like they've had several, you know, somebody. I heard somebody talking about how uh, Joey, Jan or not Joey, um, Jer Joey Ryan was there. But I mean, it's L.A. I mean, there's mm -hmm. so I mean, he's around, right? Um, but uh, nobody stuck out. Blood Eagle was also in the main event. Um, and again, not much else name wise okay. that, that I, that sunk in, I guess, but also like 
it would were all tech matches except for two matches on the card. Okay. So there's like it was like impossible for me to catch on, and half right. of it was in Spanish. Uh, <laughs> so there was that deal too. So um, did I get everybody? We're good. Chat room. Um, mm-hmm. Got your photo again here. That could be the cover art for today. No. <laughs> 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 um. We have Tina saying that she learned that she can get through almost an entire workday rewatching WrestleMania. They'll get you through. Uh, Ruby, Ruby Rays was one of them. She was a former tag partner of Ray Lynn. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was mm-hmm. on the show. Uh, all right. Everybody knows their West Coast wrestling. Thank you so much. That's that's awesome that we have people that like know the West Coast scene that's awesome. that can help us when we're like, I don't know, some person. Uh, but yeah, she was definitely on it. It was a good show. All right. Hey, thank you so much, Victor Benjamin. I did You're not call welcome. you the wrong name, despite Mad Mike's planning it in my head a couple weeks ago, the entire show. Uh, thank you, Sorg, sir. you were cool under pressure. Mm. Oh. I would say he's, he was savage. Oh. oh. Yeah, well, yeah. What's cooler than being ice cold? Being savage. No. Being savage. <laughs> 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 Lady Frost, no. thank you for joining us. You see, we're classing up the joint. If you're not on the video version here, I was way underdressed. (laughs) But all of us, you're gonna learn today. (laughs) Are way. I was showing support. There you go. (laughs) Show support. I was supporting Nakamura. Next time, we'll bring some pretty proper T-shirts for you all. Oh, there you go. They are on our Patreon. (laughs) <laughs> go. Go. Where, and where? Patreon slash pretty proper. There you go. And of course, all the social medias as well, right? That's right. Uh, Real Re- Lady Frost, Savage Gentleman. Real Mr. Savage Benjamin. Gentleman, yes. Real. Go follow you guys. Uh, anything coming up immediately uh, that uh, people should be looking for you on? Friday is Real Shoot Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Saturday, it's a surprise. Sunday, I feel like we're somewhere also on Sunday being terrible probably most likely someplace on sunday <laughs> we're, we're still wrestlemania hungover <laughs> right yeah yeah i mean that, that's understandable i need to post a list but we are we are plenty of places sunday's a surprise to you guys <laughs> <laughs> yes. surprise to everyone wait what state are we going to we today? just land that's, in the that's ring that's really how it happens blindfolded. people ask we're where supposed we're to at. be at the airport in right. five minutes <laughs> we just check the calendar Yo. you know on wednesday thursday mm. where are we at this week that's a good problem to have it is. No complaints, no complaints. No complaints. Never. Fantastic. If there are any mayhemers in the uh, Nashville and Cookville area, I will be there this weekend. Uh, I think I'm going to be attending a show called uh, uh, Sideshow Wrestling, which uh, is going to involve Billy Gunn, apparently. But uh, I'm, I'm excited that it, and James it's Storm. Posterior. The, yes. Yes. His, <laughs> his posterior will most likely be featured, uh, as well as James Storm and. Um, uh, the Carnies are going to be there. That's actually the part I'm excited for because mm-hmm. I assume you've seen them up here in IWC. Yes. No, were you involved in that? We've seen them at Nova Pro a few times. Nova's, They're yeah. fantastic. I, ha- I have Great. engaged in fisticuffs with them. You have on a time or two. <laughs> hmm. Yes. A good crew. Good, good to see. I, I love. I love going across the country and seeing familiar talent. Is pretty mm-hmm. pretty damn Sorry, cool feeling. If see, yes. If you see James Storm, stay away from trains. Yeah, no, no, no I, I, yeah. I, I know that deal. There's he's a lot. Got, he's got a bad history of those. He does. He does. At least Mickey James is bad history. Near. Also, bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, Sorry. for joining us here on the show. Go support Larry and uh, uh, uh Dark- Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Dark playing. Forge Design. No, Dark Forge Dark Studios. Forge Studios. Co. Yes. Yeah, Love Dark Forge Studios. Dark Facebook Forge. And... Dark Forge Design is the social media. No, Dark Forge Studios is the social media. Dark it Forge is? Design is just the Twitter because some. Oh, that's just the Twitter. It, but I don't use Twitter, so it doesn't matter. But I tweet him all the time. One day he'll Allegedly. open it up. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> if nobody sees the tweet, did you really tweet? That's right. Uh, Bob VHA Town on the Twitter, Mad Mike 483 Producer Missy at Rebellious Claw. Thank you so much, chat room. We'll see you guys next week where our guest will be Bro Hemoth. Me, I'm out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network.
Find out more at Sorgatron Media.